All right, guys, what's up? Team 3D, mass tip of the day. Now, I know I shouldn't be giving you guys advice on mass tips because I'm not the biggest guy. But, motherfuckers, I'm bigger than the average person. So, for my age and size and height and frame. And I'm dieting, so fuck you. That's it. All right, anyway, uh, mass tip of the day will be on overtraining. Now, a lot of the stuff you read in magazines about overtraining is a myth. Listen carefully. A lot of it is a myth. How do I know? Because you know how you know how we say that people have beginner's gains? Now, I study a lot of stuff because I'm a computer science major, right? So we have to do a lot of studying, a lot of researching, you know, observe things left and right, you know, from trees to birds to computers. We study everything. So what I like to do is every time I go to the gym, I ask people questions. If somebody's making progress and it looks like they're not juicing, I just ask them. Even if they're doing they're on steroids, I still ask them. Because not everyone on steroids looks the same. So obviously somebody got to be doing something better than the other guy. And what I realize is what we call beginner's gains, it's not really beginner's gains. It's just that, um, how, how can I explain that? In the beginning, when, when we first start lifting, we don't read a lot of magazines. We just go to the gym and just start working out, right? And we have great results. You want to know why? Because beginners do the exact opposite of what so-called experts and advanced people say. So, in fact, their ignorance is their bliss. For example, people say that overtraining is when you, you know, just go to the gym, you know, train 45 minutes, which is true. But then after that, go home. It's not wise to train twice a day. Train everybody part once a week, yada, yada, yada. You know what's funny? Back in the days, people would train the same body part two to three times a week, which is called overtraining today. But they have faster and quicker results than we have now. And I'm talking about natural people. A lot of natural people, they used to work out. Even, even in, um, when I started lifting, I didn't know anything about bodybuilding. So I was just going to the gym, and I was just doing the same thing that every rookie does, chest and biceps, right? And I was working out three to four times a week doing chest and biceps, which is today called overtraining. But I was getting great gains. In fact, I was bigger than I am now. Like, you know, I, I tried to find one of the pictures. I was way bigger than I am now. I was huge. And I'm thinking, whoa, that worked. But later on, as I started reading all these fucking, you know, magazines and all these bullshit trying to sell me supplements, they were like, oh, no, that's overtraining. You start training once a week, maximum twice a week. So I cut down my training to once a week or twice a week. And guess what? I got smaller. And I figured, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe, you know, should I eat more? Should I do this one? No, 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 no. I just reduced my training frequency and the gains went down. And instead of saying, you know what, these guys are lying, I figured, no, they can't be lying because they have PhDs and shit. And I got smaller. My friends who were beginners, they started training the same body part three to four times a week. And I used to tell them, come on, what are you doing? That's called overtraining, man. Don't do that shit. You an idiot. You know, I know better. I know magazines. But guess what? They were getting bigger than me. They would train, they would train the same body parts, chest, chest, biceps three, four times a week, and having great gains. And I was just thinking, you know what? It's beginner's gains. It's going to go down after a while. After two years, they were still getting gains. So it wasn't beginner's gains. It was frequency. Ronnie Coleman trained, trained body parts twice a week. Jay Cutler at one point trained body parts twice a week. Phil Heath did it. Um, Arnold did it. And a lot, of, a lot of guys want to say, well, they have good genetics. They have better genetics. That's the biggest excuse because if they had great genetics, Arnold, for example. Did you see a picture of Arnold when he was, when he was skinny? When you have great genetics, you have a nice frame before you even start bodybuilding. So don't 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 tell me, oh, they had great genetics. My roommate Muhammad, right? When I show you the transformation video, you're gonna be shocked because I was telling him, yo, only do this body part once a week, right? And he was like, nah, fuck it. He was doing it two to three times a week. And I was like, alright, watch, you're gonna get smaller. He's bigger than me now. Then I started thinking, you know what? Maybe I'm following. Maybe I'm being a Jimmy Strutters. Maybe I'm following everything I read in magazines. It was working for me before, and when I stopped, I got smaller. So now, now I went right back to my old routine of training two to three times a week. So I'm doing biceps two to three times a week. I'm doing everything maximum at least twice a week now. And if I get smaller, which I doubt, then I'll make a new video and tell you guys, well, this thing doesn't work. But for now, I'm telling you guys this shit works. The reason why beginners get big is not because the beginners gains. It's because they're overtraining. They're doing the opposite of what magazines tell us and you notice as we get advanced we read more we get you know we get indoctrinated by all these stupid ass myths and then we stop doing our original routines and we start losing gains and we think maybe i'm not eating enough guys listen yes there is such a thing as overtraining yes don't be in the gym for more than 45 minutes to an hour but there's a limit don't listen to everything they tell you train everybody for twice three times a week there are people in africa who do the same um, jobs every single day like you know they have to bike ride every single day and their quads are fucking huge if anybody's overtraining they're overtraining but they have gains and they're, they're poor as fuck so the diet is 
out of the question. But anyway, that's my advice. This video is over five minutes long. Team 3D.